Idiomatic expressions are used to spice up speeches and writings, but it appears politicians in Ghana do not have the luxury of using idioms according to former President Mahama, whose latest tweet on President Akufuado's use of an idiom has generated a storm on social media. So how did this controversy start? Manasse Azuria when it takes us on the journey that has led us to this point. The short tweet said, and I quote, Lessons in Ghanaian politics. Don't use idioms in relation to yourself. They stick. The words in the tweet are not as significant as the two photographs accompanying those words. The photographs are those of two animals. <laughs> well, if you are still here to get the clue of the goat and the dog idiomatic riddle, you might remember this. Um, the advantage going for me is I've seen more demonstrations and strikes <laughs> in my first two years. I don't think it can get worse in the second two years. And uh, it is said that when you've killed a goat and you frighten it with a knife, it doesn't fear the knife because it's dead already. So I have the dead goat syndrome <laughs> going forward. <laughs> While debunking allegations of corruption against President Tekufuado and his family last week, the president used an idiom about himself. I did not come into public life to make money out of public service. And members of my family know fully well they have to behave and are not involved in anything untoward. I am aware that you give a dog a bad name in order to hang it. But this dog will not be hanged. The government is on the right path to secure what is good for the country. Former President Mahama's dead goat idiom was heavily used against him to suggest he cared very little about the criticisms against his government. It is not clear how the dog that cannot be hanged comment will be used against his successor. But Jao Mahama's advice on politicians' use of idioms may resonate with many. When Tamale North MP Al Hassan Suhini told a Facebook follower to not wrestle with a pig, he sought to say he would not attempt a futile task with someone who is in their comfort zone. He was accused of calling someone a pig, and some even went to the extent of reading ethnocentric meaning into that comment. So, should politicians stay away from idioms? Probably no. Whatever they say can be given a political twist, whether it is an idiom, a proverb or just a plain language. For the dance of the hawk will never be praised by the hen. And this Akoko Sachra Kruma comment got President Mahama into trouble. Remember?